Well, welcome to Coffee with Job uh, on Tuesday morning, and we're Job chapter 41. The incredible story of Leviathan. Can you pull in Leviathan with a fish hook, or tie down its tongue with a rope? Can you put a cord through its nose, or pierce its jaw with a hook? Will it keep begging you for mercy? Will it speak to you with gentle words? Now, we're the whole idea of Leviathan here is this creature that clearly Job understands who it is. This, it's this image, as we were talking about yesterday, either giant sea creature or some huge crocodile or some mythical creature, but intended to symbolize the devil. And uh, I think that, that does make sense in the context of the whole book. And what is being said here is it's just an extraordinary picture. Um, will it speak to you with gentle words? Will it make an agreement with you for you to take it as your slave for life? Can you make a pet of it like a bird or put it on a leash for the young women in your house? Will traders barter for it? Will they divide it up among the merchants? Can you fill its hide with harpoons or its head with fishing spears? If you lay a hand on it, you will remember the struggle and never do it again. Any hope of subduing it is false. The mere sight of it is overpowering. No one is fierce enough to rouse it. Who then is able to stand against me? Who has a claim against me that I must pay? Everything under heaven belongs to me. I, as I said, I, th I do think this is about the devil. And I think, you know, in our society, again, we have people who think that they can bargain with the devil. You know, I'm thinking about going down to the crossroads and bartering your soul to be able to play blues guitar or the Rolling Stones, please allow me to introduce myself, I'm a man of wealth and taste, sympathy for the devil. Or the notion that we can use evil powers for good. I do remember um, an incident at school in the Scottish Highlands when I was a, uh, in secondary school and Ouija boards were all the rage and I remember one which got really, really, really scary and we heard of a, a young man who jumped out a window um, I do think there are spiritual forces of darkness. I do think there are evil powers. I don't think you can control these. And I think the demonic is real. And you get a lot of Christians who, be, who overreact against extreme teaching on that. But they shouldn't re overreact. It is real. I mean, we think of what's going on in the world just now. And I do think that much of it is demonic. I've got in trouble before for suggesting that some ideologies were demonic. They are what the Bible calls doctrines of devils. Well, here he has this idea, um, trying to control the devil, trying to control evil is a bit like having a pet that devours everyone. I think there's another image here that I find fascinating. Um, if you are an aficionado of Lord of the Rings, and, and who hasn't read Lord of the Rings or seen the films, and if you haven't, well, you've got a real treat waiting for you. I, I, I think the books are outstanding, and so are the films. But there's a scene when Balrog, the monster of the deep, is, is raised, and it's incredibly scary. Well, I think that's the kind of image that, that is presented here, and I think what, it, it, what's fascinating is verses 10 and 11. Are you able to stand against me? We're not to be afraid of the devil. We're not to be afraid of the monsters of the deep or even the monsters that lurk in our minds. But we're to ask, are you afraid of me? What's it like to stand before God? Now, some people don't like that imagely. They, they, they want a God who's cuddly and cute. But I think when you stand in the presence of God, when you become aware of the presence of God, it is absolutely and utterly overwhelming. The power is terrifying. The glory is awesome. And if it were not for the fact that God is good, and it's the, the goodness and love in this all-powerful God that is so important. So Job is being asked, yep, can you tame Leviathan? Not at all, but just remember, What's it like to stand before me? And I think maybe we need to remember that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. God bless you and see you tomorrow. Bye.